Oh, what's good, YouTube? What's good, Ravens Flock, man? It's your boy Gabriel, the Hunter Fan TV. Back at you in this video, man. Today, we're going to do uh, three keys to victory. You know what I'm saying? Last week, I was a little under the weather, so I, didn't, I couldn't really do it. But, you know, Ravens game day morning is back, so we here with that. Hey, look, you got the content in this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. You know, Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis, and Sunday mornings is no different, all right? So, look, we're going to give these three keys to victory. All right, we're going to start first with the uh, the Ravens defense right here. Uh, pass rush is going to be key. It's going to be very, very important, all right? Now, we know that, that Justin Houston is probably out, okay? So, JPP, Odafi Owe, um, Travis Jones, you know, these kind of guys, Justin Matabike, who's having a really, really good start to the season, are going to be very, very important, all right? Now, a guy that I'm going to add and throw into the pass rush is Patrick Queen. I want to see the Ravens blitz Patrick Queen a lot more. I think that he is he's an effective blitzer due to his speed. Uh, he obviously, his athleticism. Uh, going up against pretty much any center guard, he's going to be able to outmaneuver them, even if he comes around the edge on the tackle. Um, so that's what I want to see. Can the Ravens find ways to send Patrick Queen in a way maybe that the offensive line doesn't see it coming? Um, also, I think Patrick Queen is the perfect guy to spy Josh Allen, right? If Josh Allen maybe gets outside the pocket, we need somebody with some speed and athleticism to be able to track him down. Now, I saw way too many times Mac Jones last week was able to, the rush lanes was wide open. Mac Jones was able to just run outside the pocket. Josh Allen is, what, five, ten times the athlete Mac Jones is. So Patrick Queen could be the perfect guy to be in that role, sitting in the middle of the field, and watch Josh Allen's movements, right? We know that he's not the greatest in pass coverage. So this right here gives him a simplified role where he can be effective. So either send him after Josh Allen constantly or have him watch Josh Allen. And this pass rush, JPP, Odafi Owe, um, you know, all the guys, Travis Jones, this needs to get off and have to be effective and disrupt this Bills passing offense, okay? Now, the next one is for the Ravens offense, but it's kind of for the Ravens defense as well. Uh, I'm going to say for the Ravens to control the clock on offense, okay? And this is not because I'm worried about the Bills being on the field. It's a more about when the Bills are on the field, if the Ravens defense can be at their freshest, right? You know, good offense, good defense, they go hand in hand. If the Ravens can find a way to run the ball effectively, control the clock a little bit, it gives the defense that time to rest up on the other side. And also it gives, also it tires out this Bills defense because now they're on the, they're on the field for, seven, eight, nine, ten play drives. So it goes hand in hand, right? If the Ravens offense can control the clock, run the ball a little bit, um, actually play a little bit of time possession, which we haven't really seen this offense do yet, right? It's been big plays, big strike offense, which is cool. Don't, I'm not complaining about that at all. I mean, I love to see that. But in this particular game, if the, the more that they can keep Josh Allen off the field, when it, when it, is, it is time for that Bills offense to come back on the field, that Ravens defense is going to be fresh. It's going to be ready to go because there's going to be a lot of passing, you know, on the Bills side. They're not going to really try to run the ball that much. So, you know, the secondary might get tired. The D-line is going to be doing a lot of pass rushing. They could get tired. So if the Ravens offense can control the clock, help out this Ravens defense by, you know, when next time they're on the field, they're fresh, that's going to be a major key to victory right there, okay? Um, now, lastly, uh, back to the Ravens defense, okay? Strong communication in the secondary. All right, far too many times it's kind of guys looking around, pointing, uh, who's doing this, what's doing that. Now, this has to do with the players, yes, but also Mike McDonald, okay? Listen, if the guys aren't ready for these complex disguises and coverages that you're doing, keep it simple. Keep it simple, all right? Sometimes you've been a little bit too cute. I think that you know what you're doing or you know what you're trying to get done out there but you just don't have the guys yet to do it or the guys aren't comfortable yet doing it. So instead of trying to, you know, have both your safeties in the box and then have them sprint back 40 yards to try to, you know, now we playing cover two, just have them back there already, right? Keep it simple. Keep everything in front of you. Make the make the Bills office have to work for it. Make them, make them have to earn it, all right? Because obviously, uh, I think versus the Patriots, I think versus the Dolphins, sometimes it was just too easy. And you can't say that you can live off turnovers the entire season. Now, you want to obviously get as many turnovers as you can, obviously. But you can't say you can't live off of that. So those are my keys to victory, right? So we got 
pass rush slash blitz Patrick Queen or or spy him. Do both actually doing the game multiple times uh, versus Josh Allen. Uh, control the clock on offense and keep this Ravens offense. I'm sorry, keep this Ravens defense fresh when they do get back on the field, and so they're ready to go after Josh Allen and this Bills offense aggressively every single time they attack the field. And strong communication in the secondary from the players, and also McDonald help your players out by. Um, not doing everything that is so complex. Keep it a little simple right now and have the guys play out there to their talent. The Ravens have massive talent in the secondary. It's no reason that the coverage should be what it is, okay? There's talented guys back there. Let them use their talent instead of, it looks like a lot of time the guys are thinking out there and not, and not doing, right? Let them get out there, use their talent, let them react, and it um, should be a good game for the Ravens today, man. So I do think the Ravens do can pull this victory out. I don't think the Bills are unbeatable or anything like that. So um, I do expect the Ravens victory today. Uh, let me know your guys' key to victories in the comments, and we'll talk about it there, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan of TV. I'm out.